All right, we're live. All right, welcome to DGN's coverage of ESEA Season 21. It is Wednesday night, and we have quite a few amazing games for you. I'm your host and one half of your broadcast team for tonight, uh, Troy Watchdog. And I'm joined here by my co-caster. I think he should be here to introduce himself, I think. Mate. Hector the Hectic Knolls. Yep, so we have the first game tonight will be Frenetic Array versus Mediocre 5. Now, this is set to be a good game. We saw Mediocre 5 play, I believe it was just on the weekend, and we saw an outstanding performance from them up against... Let me pull it up. Yep. Yeah, we saw... We saw an amazing performance from Mediocre against uh, Lim Gaming, where it was a loss, but it was a 14-16 loss. So, very close game there, and I expect to see a very good performance from these guys here tonight. So, the first match we have will be Frenetic Array versus Mediocre 5. Then the second match for tonight is going to be... Let me pull up my document. There we go. Black Lions versus Final Spark. Shout out to Sydney in Sydney there for scheduling that one in a time that we're able to actually get to it. Um, and then when we do go to three games tonight, provided we do go to three games, we will have a Lim Gaming versus Le Creux. And Le Creux is looking to be a good game. I don't know too much about them, but we will head into the knife round here. Here on here on Cache, I I feel that it's it's gonna favour whoever does prefer. I feel the T side. So we will see Mediocre take the knife round out there, and I believe that they will definitely choose to stay on their CT side, and I feel this might favour Frenetic here. I feel if they had actually won, that they would Polish chat only. Yeah, we're having a lot of issues with the broadcast language. It keeps changing to Rusky and Polish, so I will force it to English. Hopefully it stays like that, but if in case it doesn't, um, welcome all the Polish viewers, I guess. Um, so we will head into the pistol round, and we see a pretty standard setup here come out from Mediocre. So we see a 3-1-2 with 3 over towards B, and it does seem like the right call here from Mediocre with Frenetic placing the bomb over in B main, but... Not actually peaking right now, and that is going to cause, I think, yep, the Mediocre will change their setup here, but the B push will come through, and Mi Mini gets a nice shot onto Seeker, and pushes through the smoke, but is punished by K-Star there, and Frenetic will take the side. It is going to be a 3v3 retake with Inno tagged down to 23. Forge takes a bit of damage there. Is tagged down to 77. But Fuzzy and Zemp pushing through are punished by K-Star and Inno there. So now we see Frenetic take that first round, and they are going to actually buy up two AKs and three MAC-10s here, and Forge is going to charge out mid and get a very nice spray down onto Fuzzy there. It's going to boost up through the vents. It seems like it will be a B-take here. 
Catalyst finding a nice shot on the mini, and Inno punishing Zemp for peeking through the vents there. Frenetic take a clean round on the second round, and that is definitely not what Mediocre want there at all. They are now going to, I think, P250 up. We will see Frenetic keep those two AKs and the three Mac 10s. They did not lose a single man on that second round there, and that's going to really hurt Mediocre. We see Forge here peeking into B main, gets a nice shot on the mini with the US there. It's very dangerous when the T's do have that, because usually the CTs are sitting very far back on the site, and it is a very accurate and reliable weapon. Catalyst pushing out and getting a nice shot onto Zemp there, while Forge gets a nice shot onto Husky. Fuzzy though, coming up highway, does some real damage onto the T side, takes out Seeker as well. The bomb should be planted, and it is going to be all up to Fox in a 1v4. Three T's very low, but he isn't going to be able to do anything about that, so Catalyst will put a stop to him over at Truck. So now, we are going to see the first rifle round here come out from Mediocre, and it's a very dangerous situation here, because Fnatic have been able to already build up such an economy, having that clean round on the second round, and using those Mac 10s for two rounds have really helped earn them a really solid economy so they'll be in a position to buy regardless of whether they do lose this round but I, I do expect that I think Frenetic will take this fourth round out. We see the T side definitely respecting that it is a rifle round here not pushing too early waiting for CTs to possibly push and try and get some information on where the T side is located we're seeing a lot of utilities come out from Frenetic here onto that B site. Flashes will come out. Husky doesn't quite get flashed. He has a player in CT. Mini is going to be spraying through that smoke. He's going to be helped by Husky to take down Seeker and then take down Inno himself. But Catalyst pushes through to CT here and finds Zemp going up heaven. K-Star spraying through smoke like it just does not exist because, you know, this is Australian Counter-Strike, my friend, and that smoke does not exist. So already we've got K-Star sitting on 8K and Catalyst sitting on 7K here. Forge is also on 8K, so this is a very dangerous and bad start here for Mediocre because they are, they are going to be under the pump to try and crush this economy and it's just going to continue to build up. We still see Frenetic not take any AWP and just stick solid with the AKs. Inno goes over the boost, finds the head of Fuzzy there. Almost finds the player in Z, but actually does get the shot on the Zemp there. Seeker just prodding Squeaky. Trying to punish any players that are actually on that angle by the container. We see the bomb is headed over towards A main. I think this will be an A take. We do already have Seeker in Squeaky. He looks like he's got sight. Smokes will go down. Molotov goes down for quad now. Double Molotov for Quad. Very nice. They're burning out two spots that they're most likely to be. But Seeker finds Fox. Not fast enough to take down Husky, though. But Catalyst is there. And Forge is this solo lurker over at B to finish off that last player. 5-0. Frenetic Array. So, this is a very dangerous start for Mediocre. They definitely need to take this rifle round out. And we will see an AWP go on to Husky here. So, if any... Any round you were going to try and actually claw this or double AWP set up for a Mediocre. Now, this is very dangerous. I don't think that they're in the position where they should be doing a double AWP, especially K-Star is going to actually purchase his AWP. You know, it pushes out into mid, takes a lot of damage, but does damage Fuzzy a lot. And that nade actually went into Vent and missed Inno. Fuzzy, though, takes down Forge in Highway before Seeker returns with Fox and Catalyst takes out Fuzzy. There is only one player remaining now on that B uh, A site, and the A site player has now gone down. It's going to be up to the two rotates there from CT. Husky with the AWP. I feel like pushing right now in this 2v4 is definitely the wrong decision for Mediocre. They should be focusing on purely saving these rifles, because their economy is definitely going to be hurting after that double AWP buy.
Now, I, I do apologize if I, if I do struggle or if there is a little bit of dead talk. Hectic is having some issues with the mic and we do not want to restart the stream just as of yet. But Fnatic will take that round and I will do my best to actually keep you guys entertained tonight. So, this is a very dangerous position for Mediocre. I do not want to see a force or a double orb buy come out from them again because they definitely are not in the position to do so at all. K-Star is... 10k up. Catalyst is 14k up. This economy already on Fnatic side is just insane. They are going to have buy after buy after buy. And K-Star just missing the head of the player in mid there. Zemp though pushes into Squeaky and gets himself a nice kill onto Seeker there. Doesn't go to recover the weapons. He knows there was a player close. Husky trying to get the one dig into B main there. Forge though. Molotov's off the site and catches out the player at headshot, takes out Husky, but, but not before Fox returns with the one dig. That, my friends, is what the Fox says. And this is looking like possibly a round for Mediocre here. They definitely need another player to rotate over towards that A site. We see actually both players starting to rotate towards that A site there. And Fox with another beautiful one dig onto Inno there. Catalyst shutting down Mini in highway, though. Not before Fuzzy turns around and takes out Catalyst, and it looks like this round will go in the favor of Mediocre here. And this is definitely what they needed, but K-Star is going to make it a very expensive round for them by taking out Zemp there. If they can recover that... Um, nah, we should be fine. Um, and now it's into a 1v1 here. It's going to be all up to K-Star. He's dropped the AWP now. He's picked up the AK, and I feel like... Yeah, he's going to actually rotate over to the B site because he does actually have enough time. And Fox here, playing highway, waiting for someone to push that A site. And if that push doesn't come through, he's going to know that it should be the B site. But he's in a great position to shut down K-Star as he tries to jump through Vent. Very nice round there from Mediocre. And they will take their first round of the half year. But unfortunately, that economy on Fnatic means that they are just going to be at a full buy again, even with an AWP. And Catalyst still sitting on 10k here. Forge sitting on 4.7k. And K-Star sitting on 4.4k. Inno on 4.8k as well. They are going to have another buy, even if they lose this round as well. And that's very dangerous for Mediocre. But the boost is going to come out. And Fox is ready and waiting for it. And he will punish Seeker. But not before Seeker takes out Fuzzy. And then Catalyst is there for the refrag. Mini, though, equalizes, takes it to a 3v3 by taking down Inno on the B site. Forge entering into that B site, takes out Husky. Molotov and Smoke go out for Heaven and B main, or CTB. Mini just spraying through that smoke, hoping to catch anybody crossing. It's now a, a 2v3. 2v1 with Mini on 6 HP. Mini, I don't think he's going to actually try this retake. I think he will just stay in Z, possibly try and get a frag of any players exiting through CT. I feel Frenetic will exit, possibly through B main. They won't actually push down through CT. They do not want to give Mediocre any more kills with that M4, especially from Mini. He's already caught himself to this round. And if he's able to get himself three, that's a pretty decent effort there and should actually help them possibly cobble together some form of buy. We'll have Fuzzy on 5k, oh, actually 7k at the end of this round. Fox will be sitting at around four and I think Husky is going to be the one that's really hurting. He's currently on zero. Yep, he's going to be on 1400. So we see Fuzzy now on 6-4. The rest of the team all under 3k. I think with that M4... Fuzzy should buy a player here. Possibly a Famous. But no, I think we are actually going to see them save with Mini. Yeah, Mini purchasing a couple of pistols and getting himself full utility. Spending a bit more time in CT than what you want to be spending in CT. A little bit of confusion going out over the buy there, I think. And that may actually cost them the round here because it has allowed Frenetic to already get that mid control that they definitely need on a map like Cache here. Catalyst in the smoke is going to find Husky fully flashed out and then push up the rest of the highway and find Mini as well at the back of site. And Frenetic have A site now. Catalyst is going to push the CT, find Zemp. 
And this is going downhill here for Mediocre. Fnatic just in a commanding and dominating lead at the moment. The economy is the main thing that's helping them here, but as well, at the same time, they've only lost between one and two players over the last six rounds. The one round Mediocre wins was the one round that they actually lost more than one or two players. So the economy on Fnatic is just insane right now. They are going to, at this rate, have a buy every round regardless of whether they do lose a round here. And that's very dangerous for Mediocre, especially on that CT side to start with. I mean, Hectic did speak of how the, the T side is very good for comebacks if you are a strong T side. We are going to see a flash into A main here, but it's not going to catch anybody out because that is not where the bomb is going. And the bomb actually has a free side over in B, but the T side don't know it. T side are waiting and Fox catches Forge off Molotoving. Now Fuzzy is going to be the man all alone on the B side here to defend this push. And he's going to have too many AKs to contend with. He is tagged down to 1 HP. And he is going to go down at the back of sight there. Husky trying to do a little bit of damage. Takes out K-Star, but not before Catalyst collects himself. Another two-piece, and Zemp is going to shut him down. But now it's a 1v2. We've got utilities still on Frenetic. No utilities at all on Mediocre. And that is not going to matter at all. Because Frenetic are just going to take another round here. So, I, this is usually where I turn around and I ask Hectic, what do you think Mediocre need to do? But unfortunately, Hectic isn't able to be heard right now on stream. So, I mean, Hectic, speak to me anyway, because I'm, I'm going crazy here talking to myself. What do you think Mediocre need to do? And I'll relay it to the viewers. Yeah, so you feel like four-man stacking a site and just hoping to God that it is the correct site that you've stacked. Possibly will get them that round that they need to get a, a decent buy, do a bit of damage. And I'll, I'll say a bit because it's going to be minuscule damage to Fnatic's economy right now. Forge is going to push out to mid and find Fuzzy there. Not before Mini takes out two. And Zemp orping very close in quad there. Mini, nice boost into the top of Highway. I'm not too sure what that area is actually called, but I'll call it Highway. Finds Forge there. K-Star is going to be the lone T with an AWP here in a 1v3. And if he can do this, it will be a 4K and, a, and an amazing play here from K-Star. To Zemp just shutting down K-Star, not allowing him to save that AWP, but quite frankly, Fnatic really don't care about saving their weapons right now because they all have another buy under their belt with Catalyst sitting on 7k and K-Star sitting on 4... Yeah, five, almost 5k. Inno, 5k. Forge, 5k. And Seeker gets himself a really nice shot onto Fuzzy. Zemp there takes out Catalyst and Seeker shuts down Zemp there. Definitely not turning out too well here for Mediocre. Fox getting caught out as he tried to transition over towards Squeaky Door there. And it will be a 4v2 retake. 2v4 retake, sorry. But Seeker catching out Husky through the little gap in truck there. Very sneaky spot. Almost finishing off the player in CD. Can't quite get that rest of that spray onto Mini. And Mini will collect himself a kill. But I do not think he's going to be able to keep this AK. Because Forge is there to stop him. Beautiful round there coming out from Fnatic, and it's a very dangerous position here now for Mediocre. Two rounds on the CT side, going up against what will now be full buys for Fnatic for the remainder of this half. They will not need to eco, even if they lose every round that remains in the half here, and that's a very dangerous position for Mediocre. They are... Going to have to win this round here on an eco, and if they can do that, that is going to be a great start to possibly winning the remaining two rounds of this half. Seeker peeking into... Oh, Zamp peeking into Squeaky, getting punished by Seeker there. Seeker's now poking and prodding that site, sees a player over at Highway. 
Fox is left all alone over the B side and does find a very nice dig onto Forge there, and that actually could help me. That actually could help Mediocre out immensely here, but K-Star is just doing a lot of damage to that A-side, making a 3v3 Fox here. He's definitely got the right read, but I think he thinks that it's going to be a B play. He doesn't realize there's a player boosted up Vents, and Inno catches him out in the back there. That should be the amount of information. Yeah. Oh, they've been saying it for the last couple of days that they were going to... It was going to be a very good game, and they were going to be... On point, and you can definitely see that is, you know, definitely see that's true here. Mini pushes through the smoke like it doesn't exist, but K Star's there with the Tech 9 to stop him. I'm really not too feeling too good about this first game for Mediocre here. They are, they are going to have to really just. It, it's going to be a miracle if they can come back on their seat on their T side. But if there is a side and a map to be able to do it on, it definitely is Cache. Cache is notorious for T-side comebacks here. And we see that from Fnatic here. They have a, just a dominating T-side that's almost overwhelming. And Inno pushes up Boost, takes out Fuzzy, and Seeker takes out Zemp. Not before Husky takes out Seeker, but then Inno responds. That'll be Mini down as well to Forge in his AK. And Fox... Hiding in sandbags, he's going to be able to collect himself at least a kill, but is now going to be completely surrounded, and Catalyst will shut him down. Fnatic will take it 12-2, and that was very cheeky, just planting the bomb while still standing in that Molotov, because, hey, it doesn't really matter at this point. So, we see K-Star, Inno, and Catalyst, all with a full buy this round, all sitting with above 11k. Like... Final round, and you actually physically cannot spend enough of your money that you've earned during the half. Fox, though, is going to be there to punish out K-Star, but not before Seeker does take him out. Mini does a bit of damage there and takes out Seeker as well, but then Catalyst will shut Mini down. It's going to be all up to Husky, Zemp, and Fuzzy here. But Zemp goes down straight away in heaven, and that's the AWP out of their hands now. It's going to be two M4s to do this retake. Husky takes out Forge, but not before his Molotov back. Fuzzy is going to be able to take out Inno, and they will take the last round of the half. So, 12-3 mediocre, and this is turning out to be a bloody quick... We started at 8, and it's 8.30. 12-3 in 30 minutes, my friend. This is a very dangerous half for mediocre here. They need flawless first three rounds in order to be able to, I'd say, have any chance of actually bringing this back. We will see the half restart now. So, I feel if you're mediocre right now, you are going to be wanting to do an execute, I feel, onto the A site. It's the site that's going to offer you the most coverage if you can land your smokes and get some flashes out through A main as well. We'll see Armour go out on three players, Husky, Zemp, and Mini there. Only A tech nine down on Fuzzy, and I really don't like that. If you're going to buy... If you're going to buy... Three players with armor, the other two players, buying them Tech-9s and giving them the Tech-9s is definitely the preferred call, I, f I find. Now, oh, pardon me? And no, there are no CTs on the A-side, so if Mediocre actually read the call here right and were able to execute onto that A-side, the Rotators would actually be smoked off for long enough for, I'd say, Mediocre to get the plant, but unfortunately, they're going to push up mid and be punished for it. Zemp take down to 31. Fuzzy gets taken out by Catalyst. Zemp and Fox, though, responding with some nice shots onto Seeker and Forge there, but then K-Star just jumps all the way up into heaven and takes out Zemp, and it's going to be up to Fox now in CT. He's able to get that nice flash, and then the shots onto K-Star there. Foxy is going to have to go huge for Mediocre to be able to win this round and take the first pistol round for Mediocre. The bomb is down on the B site and they have a very nice crossfire set up on it. We see Inno at the back of site here and Catalyst over in checkers and I feel like Fox has already taken a bit too much damage and there will be the final shot. Fox will go down. Frenetic Array will take the first round of the second half here. 13-3 now. Very dire straits for Mediocre here. We will see Frenetic buy up some well-earned Famuses and M4s here. Three Famuses across the board. 
armor on everyone, including head armor, and a decent amount of utilities for the second round here, especially when you're only going up against P250s and two Glocks here. So I hope that we'd see a fast execute on a single site. We don't see that the T sides spread out as much as they are, unfortunately. And I feel that this is the, definitely the wrong play right now. You don't have the latitude and the strength to actually be spreading out and trying to play for picks like that. And we see Zemp being punished for that and Fox taking a lot of damage. He's down to 39 here. And the CTs are just playing this very relaxed. They're playing a standard 2-1-2 setup here. And they don't really need to do anything different right now because K-Star's there in mid. And that 2-1-2 stops Mini from even peeking in that garage area. Almost gets caught off there, but that flash from K-Star was perfectly timed to push that player back into garage there. The bomb will rotate with the remaining three T-side players over to that B-side, but Inno is waiting there in headshot and does get two. Can he get the third? He does get the third. All headshots from headshots from Inno there. No, phonetic fray. It's fray if you shorten it, so that, that's, that's correct. Yep, they're definitely being out frayed and out-aimed here, and that's why I feel like what would benefit Mediocre the most here is a single push towards one site with all five members. But unfortunately, I think we're going to see at least one player two maybe up-boost, waiting for possibly a smoke or a little bit of noise in that mid area. Oh, we see three boosted. Pardon me. Three boost in the mid area, just hanging on the edge of that box there. Fox is going to peek, but is going to be punished by Forge, waiting in a very sneaky spot there. Takes out Fox and Zemp, and Inno, with the reverse boost through vents, is going to collect a 3k and take it to match point for Frenetic. Wow. So. Do you feel like there is anything that Mediocre could do in this match point to try and extend their stay? No, I, I can definitely I could definitely see that what is lacking is the IGL, I understand, wanting to play spread out, play for frags, try and get a pick on a site, and then push and prod that site a bit more. But right now, against a team like Fnatic, I feel that what will actually benefit you and get you a few rounds on them until they are able to adjust for it is just Glock training a site or even just SMG buying a site. And I feel that we will see Fnatic take this round out. It will be amazing if... Mediocre can live to fight another round. K-Star taking a fair bit of damage there. That could be a good start for Mediocre. Forge, though, in this very sneaky boost spot, catches Husky out the shroud spot, and the Molotov comes in just as Mini was contemplating pushing that. Catalyst takes out Fox, and Fuzzy takes out Forge in a main there. Zemp with a very nice orb shot under K-Star from Highway. They were not expecting a player to push up that way just as of yet. We've got one player remaining in quad. It's going to be all up to Seeker, but Zemp will take him down, and Mediocre are looking very, very well off here to take this round out. They definitely cannot afford to lose another player here. They need to play this retake as standard as possible. Peek at the last possible moments. Set up your crossfires. Because a team like Fnatic, if they can even get one frag here in the next few seconds, the retake should go through. We will see Inno push out onto site, take out Mini, but Fuzzy will respond by taking out both Catalyst and Inno, and the round will go to Mediocre. Now, Frenetic do have a very nice economy already, but it's going to mean that I believe they will be able to buy every player on the team. It's going to be no utilities on K-Star, which... Oh, a, a, a nade and two flashes on K-Star there. So if there was ever a round for Mediocre to start the comeback train, it's going to be this round here because you've actually got a chance to destroy their economy and force them into an eco and take a few more rounds off them during that.
No. Your mic actually sounds like crystal clear, man. It's just, I guess, that no one on the stream can hear it. So, we... Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we will fix the technical issues with Hectic's microphone, so that way he will be able to join us for the second match of tonight. He is actually here and providing me a lot of information, so... Honestly, though, there is not much else to say about this other than Fnatic are definitely showing that they are on point at the moment. I feel Cache is not that of a preferred map in the Australian map pool. I, I always see it get vetoed. It is at, at certain level teams, and I feel that's why it's favouring Fnatic here. I, I see in a lot of the lower levels, and yep, Fnatic will take that last round out. And all the players have already left the server. That is that is done. Wow. I... Yep, Hectic, Hectic will be speaking in the next game, so... That was actually a lot quicker than we had anticipated there. Um, so I believe that the next game is actually not for... Let me check. That finished a lot quicker than we were expecting. Fnatic just dominating there. So 16-4 was the scoreline there. And let's just, let's just have a look at Inno going absolutely huge with a 25-6 KD. Average damage per round was 134. So every single round he is getting a kill and a 34 tag, which is then actually allowing his teammates to just clean that up. And then that's two up for Fnatic. And I mean, we saw them just dominate their T side there. And, you know, Mediocre were able to take, I think, a round in their... Second half, yep, but unfortunately, it was just already too late after that first T side. That was a brutal T side there from Fnatic. So, I believe that the next match that we will have tonight, when ESEA decides to actually load, um, was not meant to be until 9.30. Now, I believe that... If we want, we can try and reset Hedick's microphone here, and I think we would actually maybe have time to jump into either Le Creux versus Riot or Aura versus Lucid. Uh, actually, I can see that Le Creux versus Riot have already started. So what we may do is we are going to go to the Le Creux versus Riot game. We're going to throw it on the AFK, but before we do that, we are going to take the stream down momentarily to get Hectic back here and give him his voice back because he's, he's definitely not feeling this, you know, not being a bit of a mute here. So we will be back momentarily. Thank you for joining us and bearing with any issues we do have. Um, when we do come back and while we are waiting for the next game as well, we will actually be drawing our... 200 follower giveaway so make sure you smash out that follow button to be entered into the stat track m4a1s basilisk minimal wear giveaway thanks to some very kind friends of dgn who donated a whole lot of skins for us to be able to conduct some giveaways for you guys so we will be back shortly